Okay, so we're talking a little bit about New Daily Persistent Headache Disorder, which is a headache condition that I was diagnosed with a couple of years ago and the headache protocol that I'm on for it. If you're new here, hi, I'm Heather, chronic illness patient, showing up on this app to share my story and resources to help other people in the chronic illness community. And so I had a very long and tedious um, time trying to get my diagnosis and that's a story for another day. If you're interested in hearing about it, just drop a comment. Um, so pro protocol for my headache. So once I finally got into a neurologist and got the diagnosis, then we started a treatment and new daily persistent headache disorder is a like new type of headache disorder kind of on the market. There's not a lot of research behind it. And so it was really like doing the guinea pig thing, like try this, see if it works, try this, see if it works. And so the first thing that I tried was a uh, Botox. And so I get Botox by needle and they inject multiple different points all over my head. Uh, along the back of my head and into my jaw because I also have TMJ. Um, so I do that every three months. And then at the time when I was at my worst, I was also getting nerve block injections with a medication called Buvipicane, which is if you go to the dentist and you know, they like put a needle in and freeze your mouth to be able, be able to do work for you. Um, it's that medication. So they basically like put the needles in pretty much all of the same points as Botox and it freezes um, your head so that you just don't have a headache for a treatment usually lasts about a week. I also started amitriptyline, which is an antidepressant, but in low doses, I'm on 50 milligrams per day. It can help with chronic pain. And at the, at the time I did not notice a huge significance in my headache condition when I started that medication, but it did help to target my bladder pain that I've chronically had since like forever. And so I knew that it was taking away pain from my bladder condition. And so then it probably was targeting my head, but my headaches were so bad that it just didn't really feel like anything. Now that I am kind of in a better managed place, I can tell if I don't take my amitriptylin, I can tell that my headaches start coming back. So I, in, in the end, I do know that it's working. So I did trial and error for like almost every single migraine medication under the sun. Um, none of them worked for me. I think I probably tried like 10 or 15 different ones and a lot of them were needles and or like up the nose and just like completely horrible. Um, unfortunately, those didn't work for me, but those are medications that are commonly given to people with new daily persistent headache disorder um, because migraines can be part of the headache disorder. The last medication that I'm on is Tizanidine and it's a muscle relaxer and it took me a really long time to find that muscle relaxer because as we were digging through trying to find them, almost all of them interacted with my medications for my lupus and my Sjogren's. So that's my protocol. Let me know what other questions you have.